and welcome to another episode of Check Out Basket. Today, we're checking out a new range of pizzas from Domino's. Well, Domino's, yes, they've done pizza for quite some time, but they're now doing what's called a three cheese stacker pizza. Now, this means there's supposed to be more cheese in the base and there's another base and all this kind of stuff. All right. What does it actually look like? Now, I got my favorite, a pepperoni, which is a basic pizza, which you can't go, you can't go past a pepperoni. Because, you know, it's the, it's the same everywhere. Pepperonis, you know, round bits of uh, sausage meat, and there it is there. So, this pizza is supposed to have cheese, sorry, base, cheese, base, sauce, cheese, toppings, cheese. If there's enough cheese in the in the in the in the space yet. So let's have a look. We'll pull one piece out and make sure we're getting the three cheese looking information. Now in there it's supposed to be yeah there you go you can see the layer the layer between the cheeses. Alright it looks like a alright pizza Let's try this. Taste test time. Okay, so in front of you is what's called a three cheese stacker. Now it's a pepperoni pizza. The reason I do pepperoni is because it's, if you go to Pizza Hut, you can get a pepperoni. If you go to Johnny Boys, you can get a pepperoni. If you go to Eagle Boys, you can get a pepperoni. If you Pepper go to Domino's. Pepperoni is the same everywhere. That's right. You can get a- smells nice. Pepperoni. All right. So on this pizza, it's supposed to be a pizza base, some can cheese, see it. Can see it. another pizza base, sauce, cheese, topping, and then cheese on top. So I can see three all layers, layers of cheese. Now, years ago when I worked at uh, Pizza Hut, we used to venture into the kitchen and, and, and sometimes make creations. Now, I made a creation very similar to this years and years and years and years ago. But they always stayed in the, in the creation stages at, you know, at work. But this one looks pretty good, doesn't it? Mm. Now, it, it, it does resemble a thin and crispy pizza. It's not a thick, you know, pan-based or classic style pizza base. Um, there is a fair amount of cheese on this thing. Smell I can I can good. see a fair amount of cheese on this thing. All right, now five dollars is is your standard large pizza at Pizza Hut, which is oh sorry Domino's, which is a range of pizzas, and this is this comes in under one of the five five dollar pizzas. Now for an extra upgrade on your crust, three dollars ninety five. It's almost the same price as the pizza, which brings the total total price of eight dollars ninety five for this pizza. All right. Let's go in. Taste test. I can see the cheese oozing out, out of the base. This is, it looks like more of a cream cheese on the bottom middle, rather than a, a, a cheddar or a mozzarella. I can see the mozzarella on top, and then the squirt of the, the cheese sauce over the top of that. Oh. I can feel the cheese as it squirts into my mouth. Mmm. I have never enjoyed a pepperoni so much. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. with the double crust, it's sort of like they've made it so the pizza almost goes to the edge of the pizza, if you mm -hmm. notice. There's not much of the pizza wasted as a crust. No. Mm. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this pizza. What do you think? Now, you can't go wrong. A pepperoni is a pepperoni anyway. It looks... It looks... Mm, Bit cheesy. Mm. <laughs> All right, so yeah, there's enough cheese, isn't there, to be a three cheese stacker? 
It looks good. And now the bases. They're not too thick and they're not too thin. See, when you pick one of the pieces up, it's still holding its form, but it's got that little bit of a droop to the to the piece, so you know it's not sat, it's not sloppy, but it's not you know hard as a rock. Either, is it? No, that that that's a good thing. It's a nice looking pizza. Smells delicious. Tastes even better. Now, I, I've seen somebody else do a review on this particular uh, base. They didn't get this topping. I think they got like a, a one with lots of bits and pieces on it. Um, and they sort of skimped on the cheese. Oh, really? You couldn't tell that it was a three cheese stack. There wasn't there wasn't any cheese like this one where it was where it's oozing out the middle. Oh, this one's oozed. Mm. And you couldn't tell that it had cheese stuff squirted over the top. The, the, he, he, he got completely ripped off on his pizza, but look. No, this is good. This, now I, I, I ordered a little bit before lunchtime, so I was early, but you know, not 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 a late, late, late breakfast. It's a, it's sort of like a little bit before lunchtime. So it's before the, the, the lunch rush. So I got in, so they might have taken a little bit more care with my pizza rather than, you know, 16 different orders trying to be pumped through within five minutes. What are you going to give it for a pizza for 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 for, um, for looks? Looks for looks. It, it it it's 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 about a nine out of ten for the looks, really, because there was only a little bit. Five. There's only a little bit that had been taken off mm -hmm. off the side because they hadn't perforated the base properly, and I know what that means. It's where you run the perforator over it so yeah. it doesn't bubble. There was only one spot on the entire pizza that had had that, and with this this type of base, it needs to be done. So that I'm taking a little bit off that. But, price-wise, it's a little bit expensive, but you Taste. get what you pay for. Taste-wise. You're getting what you pay for. You're paying a little bit extra for the type of base because it takes a little bit more long to make. Okay. I reckon it up there, taste-wise, it's 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 phenomenal. I'm, I'm going to give it a, a 5 out of 10. I'm, I'm giving it a 5 too. You're giving it a 5? It's a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10. Now, look, price... If you're going to go... You can get the $3... The stuffed crust, you know, with a with a stringy sting, stringy crust that goes around the outside. They're awesome. They're excellent. That's the you know, there's none of the pizza that's wasted. This same deal, but it's on a crispier base. So if you like your crispier pizzas and you like cheese and you don't want it to limp off and slide everywhere because you know there's not much of the base to hold it, this is it. Get this pizza. I I, I recommend it. So that's a ten out of ten. If you see anything you like in these videos, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget any comments, questions, things I can be doing better in these videos. Leave it in the comments field below on YouTube. Maybe you've tried this with a different topping. Maybe you've tried, dare I say it, a Hawaiian, a pineapple covered pizza. And this tasted awesome as well. Maybe, maybe you've tried that. Leave it in the comments field below. Maybe you've seen a different pizza company do this type of pizza base. Leave it in the comments field. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. And get notified when I do these. Check out basket episodes, my daily vlogs, Urban Explorer, What's in the Box, Cooking with Craig. I do lots of types of videos, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, check out my channel, and all my other videos. And, until next time, see you in the next video. Oh, yeah. I like no words. It's just so good.